hey, hey, hey. It's your boy. It's your boy, J. Michael, in the building. Yeah. This time, we're gonna do another video. Another video. Yeah. All right, y'all. J. Michael back. I've been gone for a few days. The reason I was gone for a few days, I was helping Darion Cryer, a.k.a. Hooper Breeze, with his page. You know, trying to get the content up to keep his page going because his page is growing. So, you know, I have to do that first. Now I'm back for my people to hope grow my page. But today's topic is, hey, you, stop stressing. Stop it. Hey, you over there. Why are you frustrated? Huh? Why? Talk to me. Oh, your bills. It's hard to pay bills. So you stressed. Oh, your kid getting ready to go to college. So you stress. Oh, oh, your man cheated on you. Or your woman cheated on you. So you stress. Oh. Someone close to you pass. So you stress. You hurt. You sad. Come on. Let's talk for a minute. Okay, the bills. I can understand the bills. It's frustrating because of this COVID, or because of your job, or because your husband or your wife left you with everything, and you gotta take care of everything. You have to understand what stress is. Stress is a silent killer. Strokes, heart attacks, blood pressure, silent killer. There's no reason to be stressed. Oh, it's easy for you to say that. It's easy for you to say that. You making this, you doing that. Nah, nah. See, you don't stress because you still have to deal with the situation at hand. You just have to sit back, gather your thoughts, pray to God, because God hear you. You think he don't hear you, but God do hear you. <clears throat> Once again, like I said in another video, God is not a genie, so he ain't going to just, you ain't just going to pray and it's going to be like that. You have to believe. You have to believe in your heart. You have to have that faith that it's going to be done. And you, you got to pray on it one time and let it happen. Once you put it in God's hand, let it happen. Because it's going to happen. might not happen when you want it to happen, but it's going to happen. So stop stressing about the small things. Stop stressing at all. And focus on what you have to do to make that situation better. Because it's going to get better no matter how hard it looks, no matter how hard you try. It's going to get better because God is testing your faith. You cannot give up. You have to believe. You have to stand strong. And fight it. And guarantee. It's going to get better. And people that's frustrated. That's stressed and frustrated. Let me give you a prime example. You driving up the street. You got a, you on your way to work. You catch a flat tire. Now you get out the car because you all mad. You stressed out because you finna be late. Now you frustrated so you get out. You kick your car. Now you put a big dent in your car. Because you done got frustrated. Because now you finna be late for work. You stressed out. You frustrated so you kick your car. But now you put a big dent in your car. Because you done got frustrated. Something that was $32. Something that was $50. Then turned to $350. $333. Because you done put a dent in your car. Because you done got frustrated. But at the end of the day. You still got to deal with that tire. So why get frustrated and tear up your car? That goes the same for men. That goes the same for women. When y'all get into an argument. Y'all in the house tearing up stuff. 
But y'all still got to deal with that situation at hand. But now y'all done patched everything up. But now you're looking at your house and you done made $3,000 worth of damage. Because you done got frustrated. Y'all done got stressed out. Now y'all done tore stuff up in your house. For what? Because of stress? Because I was frustrated? Now you even stressed out now because you got to spend $3,000 to fix what you tore up in the house. Something that y'all could have been adults about and talked about. See, men and ladies, when y'all get into a situation, don't force that person to talk if that person heated. Let that person calm down. And then go to that person like, are you ready to talk? And watch how the outcome be different. Because when you talk to a person when you're angry, when you talk to a person when you're stressed out, when you talk to a person when you're frustrated, things come out your mouth that you cannot take back. Y'all might apologize, y'all might say sorry, and y'all might patch things up. But one thing you have to remember, that person did not forget that. Because you said that out of anger, and that's how you really felt. Because my mama and my daddy and my family, they was alcoholics. Well, not my mama and my dad, but I'm, what, what, what I'm saying is, they always told me, when a person on that panther piss, I call liquor panther piss. When they on that panther piss, that's that true syrup. Because when a person get drunk, they, 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 they put that S on their chest and they telling the truth. They telling you how they really feel. So... Don't never get angry or frustrated or stressed out and talk to somebody. Let that person calm down. Don't get angry or frustrated and tear up your stuff because you still have to deal with it at hand. Come on now. Men, y'all come home. Your woman ain't cooked dinner or the house wasn't clean the way you wanted, the, the wanted it. Now you done put your hands on her. You done beat her up. For what? Because you was out there doing something and you didn't get caught, so you taking it out on her? Because you taking it out on her to shed her up because she knows she's you she's scared of you. So you beat her up, so that's gonna make her shut up. Oh, y'all wonder how I know that, huh? When I was in my teens, I used to do that old stupid stuff. Put my hands on my ex-wife. Dumb stuff. I was young and dumb. You know what I'm saying? Because why would you put your hands on your woman? Because you frustrated? Because you stressed? Or because you got caught cheating? So, you wanna take it out on her because she done bust you. Come on, bro. That's not player player. You know, women, my daddy always told me, when you go looking for mess, you gonna find it. You ain't gotta go looking for it. Because one thing, trust and believe, if he doing something, it's gonna come to the front, to the light. It's gonna come to the front. So you ain't gotta go snooping through his phone. You ain't gotta go snooping through his wallet. You ain't gotta go snooping through his pocket. Let it come to you. Because like I said in another video, if he's creeping with somebody, or is she creeping with somebody? Somebody gonna catch feelings. And it's gonna come out. Because that person gonna get tired. Because they gonna get tired of that person lying. Stringing that person alone. So that person gonna be like, you said you was gonna leave your husband. You said you was gonna leave your wife. You said you was gonna leave your girlfriend. You said you was gonna leave your boyfriend. We've been dating for two years now. And we, we, you, you telling me the same thing. You spending me. So now they gonna tell you the truth. So you don't have to go looking for it. It's going to fall in your lap. So don't get stressed. Don't get frustrated because your man cheating. Don't get stressed or frustrated because your woman cheating. Let it go. That'll solve the problem. But if you want to be with that person, work it out. Find out what's going on. Sit down and talk to them. Because... Cheating, stress, and frustration. Nine times out of ten, 
when a man cheat one he probably just a dog two he probably didn't get enough sex at home three he probably got into an argument with his wife so he wanted to go do something to try to ease his pain and calm himself down four he probably getting peer pressure by his, his homies like, Oh, no, you married. You can't even do what we do. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, nigga, you got me messed up, bro. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Homie peer pressure. Then five, y'all probably broke up for a couple months and he probably cheated. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all worked it out. You know? It's, 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 them some of the reasons me and cheat. You know? Because people... Sex do play a big part in some relationships, but love should override that. Because if you really love that person, y'all gonna work it out to where y'all gonna make that sex exciting. Because sex is just what it is. Sex. That's just what sex is, is sex. Because I can go do it to her, you can go do it to him. That's sex. But when you love someone, truly love someone, that's art making, that's beautifulness, that's that tenderness, that's love. Because you can go do it to this dude, you can go do it to this girl, but did you get what you wanted? What? Because you bust the nut? But did you feel loved? Did you feel wanted? When you got through having sex, you done went home all frustrated and stressed out because you still alone. <clears throat> Think about love. When you making love to someone that you truly love and care about, you just can touch that person. You just can look at that person. And them goosebumps come up. That body start tingling. That cat start melting, running like a waterfall. That dangling start standing up like a beanstalk. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that love. When you getting ready to bust and you ain't even touched that person yet. That's what you call genuine love making, not sex. We talking about genuine love making. So when you mess around, and you cheating out there, what is you solving? The same thing that you went out there to look for, you could have did at home. Oh, oh, I get it. Your woman or your man is not exciting enough. That's why you go out. Because you want that excitement. Okay. Jake Michael here for you. Let me tell you, women and men, if you don't, women, if you don't do the talk to the microphone, talk to it sometimes. Because what you won't do, the next woman will. Men, if you don't go down there and talk to the other lips, if you won't do it, the next man will. See, you have to make your sex life exciting. You have to role play sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Act like a slave. Ooh, girl. Go on and give me that coochie. Quit playing and give me that coochie. I'm coming in here right now. Master say, give me that coochie. You got to be like, yes, yes, sir. Me's going to give you some of this coochie. Me going to give you some of this coochie. You know what I'm saying? Role play. Make it exciting. You know what I'm saying? Me sometimes come in and act like you're damn. I'm going to take it. You know what I'm saying? Be exciting. Come in as a nurse. Come in as the maid. Come in as the doctor. Make the sex life exciting. Do spontaneous stuff. Like one day y'all riding up the street. Just pull over, baby. Come on, let's do it. Oh my God. It's exciting. You have to do things to keep your relationship exciting. So your woman or your man don't cheat. If you got a small penis, 
Eat that cat like that's the last supper. You see what I'm saying? If your girl born in the bed, tell her things to do. Try to excite her. Don't go out and find another woman because that might be your last time because you might catch something that you can't get rid of. Y'all have to think about that when you're stepping out. I thank God, I thank God that every time I did stuff, I didn't, I didn't catch nothing. Because, man, I was playing Russian roulette with my dang lane every day. Because what you got to understand, fellas, when you out there and you cheating, you playing Russian roulette with your dang lane. Women, what you have to understand when you're out there cheating, you're playing Russian roulette with your dang lane. I mean, with your cat. My bad. With your cat. Because what you're saying is... Oh, he put a condom on. Condoms bust. Condoms ain't guaranteed. Y'all playing Russian roulette with your life. You have to understand your kids. You got open wounds in your mouth. Come on. It's about building. Because now you starting over. Because you didn't get busted. Now you got all the stuff you knew about your partner. Now you got to start all over with this person and learn this person all over again. Oh, I know what y'all saying. Well, J. Michael, you said if you're in a relationship for 10 years and 20 years and it ain't going right, I need to leave that person. That's different. If you're not happy, why would you stay in something that you're not happy with? But if you're in something for 10 years and 20 years and it's going good and you're cheating, Why? Because it's not exciting enough, because it's getting boring, make it exciting. Do some adventurous stuff. That don't mean jump off the building and go dive into some other coochie. That don't mean jump off the building and dive on another pogo stick. Make your relationship exciting. Stop stressing about the small things. Stop getting frustrated about the small things and fix it. Because it's wonderful when you love somebody. It's wonderful when you have that soulmate. Because what you have to understand, people be out there, oh, I got best friends. Oh, that's my bestie. Your mate is your best friend. Your mate is your bestie. Because this is the person you lay down with every day. This is the person you wake up with every day. That's your bestie. And if you can't trust the person that you lay down with or wake up with every day, why are you with that person? Help me understand that. Because one thing you have to understand, this person that you've been knowing for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years, 30 years, is your enemy. Because that's the same person that know all your deep secrets, and when they get mad, they expose you. Your mate is your best friend. That's your soulmate. And if you can't call your best friend your brother or your sister, that's not a friend. Because you should be able to fight with your friends. I'm talking about physically all that and still be like this. Because that's not fake love. That's real. Come on now. Come on. See, J. Michael can talk about a lot of stuff because J. Michael been through a lot in his life. A lot. And if y'all want to know things, what they what they got going on right now, that that Q and A, that questionnaire. If y'all want to know stuff and want to know things about J. Michael, leave the comment, leave questions in the comment, and I'ma answer them the best of my ability. You know, I still I ain't forgot my fan out there that want to hear my story time. I'm working on it. I'm working on it for you because it's long, and I gotta try to I gotta break it down for you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's long. You know, but I ain't forgot about you. I ain't forgot about you, but. If y'all want to know about J. Michael, leave them questions and J. Michael going to answer them. You know, but again, excuse me, stop stressing. Stop being frustrated for the small things, even for the big things. Sit down, reevaluate yourself. Sit down, think of, of a better strategy to make things better and see how you can attack the situation study get mad and elevate the situation worse than what it is because that's what you're doing 
Stop tripping or stressing cause your man or your woman is cheating. Stop it. Sit down and reevaluate the situation. See how you can attack the situation. See how you can talk about the situation. Don't go out cheating. You know what I'm saying? Men. If you have to, talk to Palmina. Go get the lotion and talk to Palmina. And if you feel like you want to cheat, go talk to Snidey. Huh, Snidey right here. Palmina and Snidey. Go cheat with them. Go put on a porn or something. Don't go cheat with no other woman. Women, the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Go talk to Fingerling. Fingerling is the man right now. But don't go out there trying to find some other dang lane just slang lane some winky dink Don't do that. Don't do that. Because trust and believe, it ain't worth it. Because that same dude you cheated with, he might be the bomb, bomb diggity in the bed. But is it worth what you losing behind? Is it worth it? Because I don't know how this work, but it seems like the good dudes that take care of you, take care of all the bills, take care of you, the kids, make sure you get everything, they either weak in the bed or they got small slangalangs. Now the assholes, the dogs, the gorillas that don't do nothing for you but call you bees and hoes and this and this and that, it's like they got the bomb sick. And they got the big dang of lanes. I don't know how that work. But the ones that's taking care of you, you better work with that dang of lane. You better make that dang of lane work. You better make that dang of lane feel like it's 20 inches. Than going out there messing with that big dang of lane. Because that big dang of lane ain't always good. That big dang of lane come with consequences. Men. Because that woman got a fat juicy booty, that woman got big titty titties, that woman look good, that woman pretty, your woman is mediocre or she's average. So you want to go experiment with what you look, ooh, I want to go experiment that, so you go get it. Not knowing she's psycho, now she's texting you, now she's calling your phone, now she's popping up at your house, now she's parked down the corner, now she's leaving notes, going up to your wife's job. Because you done gave her that bomb sex. You see what I'm saying? See, I had to learn. <laughs> you don't do what you do at home to your sides or the creeps. Or you treating or you creeping. You don't do that. You don't cheat at all. But I'm just saying, if you cheating, you don't, get, you don't do what you do at home out on the street. Because once again, somebody going to get up with feelings. It might not be that day. It might not be that week. It might not be that month. But somebody's coming up with feelings. And when them people come up with feelings, woo, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying, y'all, don't cheat, for one. Stop stressing for two. Quit getting frustrated for three. Put God first. And watch how things turn around for you. And your woman or your man, that's your best friend. Y'all like this. Talk it out. Sit down like adults and talk it out. Talk the situation out. I'm not saying talk when they angry. Wait till they calm down and go talk to them so y'all can talk like civilized people. And then when it comes to sex, once again, it's not sex. Y'all making art. Y'all painting that portrait. Y'all making that music. That's what you do with your mate. Because you can have sex with anybody. Excuse my language, you can fuck anybody. But can you make love? Can you make that art? Can you make that beautiful music with somebody that you truly love and care about? That's what you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm out. J. Michael. And again, if y'all want to know something about J. Michael, leave them questions down there and J. Michael going to get at you.
You know what I'm saying? And another shout out to my boy Nate P. Flemings and my other homie, Gangsta MoJ, Gangsta MoJ, and T and Cam and the fam, my people. You know, them the people that support me and all my fans that leave comments. I'm going to give y'all some shots out at the end of the video. J. Michael, wow. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, and for my other fan that out there that told me about that dude, Dwayne, I don't know how I couldn't remember Dwayne from what's happening. That's why I got that hey, 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 hey from. It's my homie from the What's Happening show, uh, Dwayne, baby. J. Michael is out. And another shout out to Darion Cryer, a.k.a. Hooper Breeze. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Don't stress. Don't get frustrated. Don't stress. This day might go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah.